Hey everyone, welcome to Java Technocraft. In this video, we are going to discuss an important sorting algorithm which is widely used. So, the algorithm is bubble sort. So, let's take a small example. Uh, right, so 24, 12, 8. Uh, so, two, a three number example like how to sort it using bubble sort. So, bubble sort usually takes uh, linear uh, algorithms wherein it takes the first two elements, sorts it, and then moves to next two elements. So the iteration would be the number of elements that are present in the set. Right. So here I have, I have taken uh, three elements over here, 24, 12 and 18. So during the first iteration, this is the first iteration, and the first iteration it take, picks up the first two numbers and sorts it. Basically out of 24 and 12, 12 is the least, so it shuffles the 12 first and 24 next, and then it goes to the next elements, 24 and 8, out of which 8 is the lowest. So it shuffles this two. So this is the completion of the first iteration. So in the second iteration, it picks up the last uh, sorted one and then sorts to, uh, tries to sort out the in the similar fashion. So it picks up the 12 and 8 and uh, it, 8 is the lowest. So 8, 12 and out of 12 and 8, uh, sorry, 24 here. Okay, let's change it to 24. So out of uh, 12 and 24, 12 is the lowest. So this is the output, right? So let's uh, uh, view it in the example using the program which is used in the bubble sort. Right, in this program I have taken the same set of elements which we discussed right now. Okay, so in, let's run this program and see like here as I mentioned that I'm iterating twice over here. So the first time it picks up all the elements and then uh, this is only to print this, print the output. Uh, so ignore this one. And then in this uh, basically it tries to assign the lowest one to the temporary if it is the lowest one and then uh, sort shuffle those two elements right so let's run this program and see so this is the initial element and in the first iteration basically you can see 12 8 and 24 and in the second iteration it has sorted it perfectly so let's discuss about the disadvantages of using google sort since uh, it is linear short sorting and shuffling program basically the time consumed very very lot so if the elements are too high, basically it may consume more memory and it is not uh, useful and significantly slow down your program. So better not to use bubble sort if the number of elements are very big number. So that is all. So I prefer you to visit the Java Technocraft website. So if you got any uh, lab assignments, you can quickly get connected with me uh, so that uh, we have a 50% uh, offer going on right now. Uh, so this is the contact basically uh, you can drop an email to support it Java Technocrafts or else WhatsApp us by clicking on this button. That is all for now. Thank you. Bye-bye